Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world away, and we've now got pack 10 of Model Spaces Build Your Own Thunderbird 2. Okay, now in this one, we're continuing to build Pod 4, which we've already done before when we did Pod 3. Uh, we're also going to build a fire truck, and we're also going to build Elevator 4. Now, this is going to be the Blue Peter edition of this, because you don't want to see me doing the uh, inner wall again of the pods, so uh, I've already done them. But when I get to those parts, uh, I'll just speed up the images of me doing them, and then uh, you'll see what we're going to do, because uh, that would have taken like another 40 minutes of you watching something they've already done. If you want to see it again, I think that was impact four pack three or four uh so you can uh, get to see what you uh what you missed but uh let's get cracking on this this is stage 60 uh, we've got to put all the details on the left uh side of the um vehicle sorry this one here uh, which looks just like that as you see that's all been completed and this is how i got to that stage Okay, so once that's uh, done, what I've also done is I've taken a lot of things off the sprues already. So uh, we're not going to be cutting sprues in this one. Give me a nice quick video. Uh, we're going to be building the bases of the fire truck. Now this, as you know, we have already done before. So once again, I haven't got to glue these because I've already done them, but we're just getting the axles. The rear of the vehicle, uh, basically stages three, four, one, two, three, and four is just showing you how to make what we've made here. Uh, we're going to be putting them through the, the rear of the vehicles, just this bit with the uh, extra bit coming out of the end there. So that means that the sprocket uh, drives are at the back there, and that's going to go in just like that. And then we'll put that in once again with another sprocket on the other side to keep that in. And I just push those together. And then we just repeat that all the way down the uh, chassis here when they want to go in the holes. That's better. <laughs> So that's the second one in. And this, once we put the tracks on, uh, this is the stage complete. There's 13 stages in this. What I'll try and do is put pictures up on the screen as you see me putting these things in. Um, if you don't push them in all the way, let me just show you that you've got wobble in the wheel, which you don't want. I'll get that in the middle. I'll, uh, in a minute, I'll push them all down together so that we haven't got to worry about them. Um, but while I'm putting these on just like this, I don't really worry too much about it. And oops. I don't worry too much about it, I say, until I can't get the uh, things in. So what we'll have to do this time is we will have to push them down a lot. There we go. See, that's how they're supposed to look, so there's no wobble in them at all. Okay, and then we'll put the last one in, just like that. Give it a good old push down. When you push down, obviously, you want to direct your strength to the center because if you don't you'll probably end up breaking a pin or something like that then we put the tracks on and once again the tracks go on the outside so they look like that and we do the same on the other side <sighs> like that now this is going to be a really fiddly one to build uh from what i understand I'm, i understand that the tracks are a little bit like when we built ic3 uh but there we go that's the uh, bottom of that done and uh, that was that stage complete. I'm just going to put that to one side and we'll turn the page and see what we have to do next. Oh, look, we have to do the left inner wall. <laughs> Guess what? I've already done that too. <laughs> and here's another little video of me getting to this stage here, which I've sped up so you can see all the pain that I went through when I did that.
So basically we've got both of these walls done now, as you can see on the, uh, I'll show you on the top camera there. Both of the walls done. I'm going to put those to one side because now we're going to continue building the fire truck. And we've got this whole heap of really goodies in here. Um, it's, this is where things are going to get a little bit hard, I think, because we had a problem with this last time, trying to balance the really, really tiny wheels in this bag here. I'm just going to tip everything out. Uh, to make the tracks and as you can see some of the sprues that I've had to open in these have got some really tiny bits in them uh, but I'll lay them out uh, in some sort of order I'm just making sure that I've definitely got everything here look we've got some long screws here I'm not quite sure where these are going yet but we'll open them and uh, I will get rid of that rubbish I like to keep everything tidy while I'm working I, I don't know if any of you noticed that um, because I could get myself very confused very quickly. Now look at all of those bits. In a second, those bits are gonna make something. <laughs> I'm not sure what yet, but let's have a look. Okay, first thing he wants me to do is uh, we're gonna have, oh, let's see what all these bits that we've got. We're gonna have this bit here and they're holding it this way round and we're gonna be putting a front grill in this here. It does say, unless it's otherwise stated, everything here we're gonna be gluing in. Right, the front grill looks like this little piece here. To show you that on the side camera. Oh, there is another bit that looks like a grill as well. Uh, oh, <laughs> right. No, that is a head. Oh, well, that's a headlight. So yeah, <laughs> the front grill definitely looks like that there. Okay, so we're going to get that put in there. Uh, just open my trusty glue. I've got a new glue, which is good. So I'm just going to dab some glue just around the edges because uh, even though this has got. Um, a little tab at the back you want to make sure you put it in that way so you see it's longer at the top than the bottom uh, and I have got my trusty tweezers if they work I don't think they're gonna work actually no nope. so I'm gonna have to just brave this and use my my own fingers oh that's gone in okay actually there we go and that's that one in that was step one done step two we're gonna be putting the headlights in so the first headlight was the first bit it was the one I just picked up there uh, and that's gonna go in just this side here Put dobber glue in there. I make, is it going to let me use my uh, tweezers this time? No. God, these tweezers don't like angled pieces, that's for sure. So we'll get this one in. Oh, that one's gone in. Well, oh, don't think I'm happy with that, actually. Let me have another look. Yep. I oh, know. It's, it's sitting in funny, that one. I don't know why. I'm just going to have a look to make sure I've got it. In. I've definitely got it in the right uh, channel. It was sitting in slightly at an angle. Perhaps that's how it's supposed to sit in gonna push that bit in yeah, it does sit in slightly an angle there look at that so uh, that's definitely right though uh, we're gonna put the, the other side in they will only let you go in one way because you've got the tabs here and you see the tabs are on the bottom there it will only let you put them in one way so uh, don't panic if uh, they don't look right to start off with as long as they're in those tabs and they're flush to the vehicle which these are that's how it's gonna look okay there we go looks like that from the uh, oh. The top, top is shorter thing. Uh, that's both the headlights in. Now we've got a uh, air intake, which is this great big bit of silver, and that's going to follow the same direction of what we've got here. So let's put some glue in there, just like that. Uh, with the new glues, I tend to find that uh, when you first start using them, they spill out. So you've got to be careful of what you're putting in there. But that's gone in perfectly. That's the uh, front glue in. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to be putting on the cockpit rear panel. And that's going to be fitting uh, over these two holes. Oh, let's have a look. Um, <laughs> trying to figure out their pictures. I'll tell you, it's going to be uh, right. I think they've got it that way around. Yep. It's going to be fitting over that back bit there. Now, this is the uh, rear panel. It's got a lip on it. So that lip is going to make sure that when we put it in, that it's sitting absolutely right. I'm just going to do a test fit on that just to make sure I'm putting this in how it's meant to be. Hang on a second. There we go. That's how it's going to meant to be there. That's the way it's going round it's going to go. So we put some glue in there just into these little holes. One, two, and then this bit goes in. That's a nice easy bit. Uh, okay, once that's in, we're going to be putting the cockpit in, which is this bit here. And you've got four pins here, which are just going to go over those bits just like that. So once again, I'm just going to dob some glue into these holes. One, two, three, four. I'll be honest with you, the fire truck was something that I completely forgot about. I thought um, 
I thought I knew all the vehicles that were coming and where I saw we're doing this one uh, it surprised me a lot <laughs> but anyway that's the cockpit done uh, now we're going to be putting on the right hand rail now these hand rails are these little tiny things here exactly like IR3 again so what I need to do is just figure out which one goes where so I'll put all the hand rails on uh, the one I'm holding here is going on this side so we'll put this in and these will be glued eventually but what I want to do is just get them in and then I think what we'll do is we'll come back because I don't want to uh, I don't want to put them in and then have to break away afterwards again you the, the one you want is the one with the longer hand rail just on this so if I ta tackle this side here because it's got to clear the vehicle you see it's got to clear the vehicle before it goes into the side again so we'll get one side in the hardest bit is actually just getting them in to start off with but there we go that's that one in and then we can put the bottom bit in like that so that's the first hand rail in and that just looks like that we're going to do the same on the other side so again we're looking for the piece that's got the longer width which is uh, oh, let's have a look which is this one here, I believe. Yep, that looks good. No, nope, that's not good. It's this piece, <laughs> this piece here. It's got the longer length, you see, just there going down. It's hard for you to see that. I'm just trying to, there you go. It's longer length going down, not this bit going across. Okay, so we get this one in. Oops, and I've dropped it. This is a tricky one. This reminds me of IR3 and the nightmares I had with that. Now someone, once I did IR3, was laughing at me in the chat, on the chat on the channel, because they said you've got to build the fire truck yet. And of course I didn't uh, heed any warning to that, did I? So right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna push these in a little bit to make sure they're perfectly straight. There we go. And that's the hand rails in just like that there and they look like that on the sides there and there that was quite a tricky bit that was <laughs> okay right once we've done that uh, we've done the right hand round uh, and we're about to put the bulkhead in now now the bulkheads this bit here uh, it's going to be going in this way and it's going to be facing forward just like that there so we get some glue into that just on the sides here nice thin bit of glue that is okay and we'll push that in there we go, that's the bulkhead on. Uh, once the bulkhead's on, we're gonna be putting the next lot of uh, little uh, hand rails in. God, this is gonna be hard. Right, okay, let's get this one in. I think I've got the right one first off, but um, I'm gonna, it's got in okay that side. I've just gotta get it in to this bottom hole here. So it's probably best to definitely use tweezers for this. Oh, that's gone in absolutely perfectly. That is going to need to be glued, though. So that's the first hand rail in because we're going to do the second one now. Let's pick me tweezers up. This does help. I have to say, it does help. So, right, we'll put the second one in. So we put it in this hole. Where's the hole? There. It's in the hole that side. We've got to get it in the hole. Down the bottom there. There you go, and that's the second hand rail. So that looks just like that one side and that the other side. I'm just gonna dab some glue into that and we'll get that all glued in so that ain't gonna move. Okay, so that's all glued and that's all in place there. So that's the hand rails in. Uh, okay, next thing we're gonna be doing is uh, repeat the right side, we've done that. We're gonna be, oh, it's the wheels. This is gonna be a nightmare. Okay, if you remember what we did last time, what we had to do was we took one of these pieces here I'm going to try and do this live so you can see the pain that I went through. Uh, okay, it's going to be held this way round, and then we're going to be balancing for, uh, let's see if we, it won't even let you hold it up that way sort of thing, so you're going to have to hold it, unfortunately. Um, I'm just seeing if it's going to give us a, right, okay, so we can, we can put it down. We can put it down on the ground just like that. Okay, I hope you can see that through one of the cameras. I'm going to put it that way around, actually. You can probably see it better on one of the, probably the top camera here. Then we're going to be putting these wheels in to the four holes we've got without dropping them, as you can see. Oh, God, this is worrying. So let's get these four in first. Okay, so once all the wheels are in like that, we've got all the wheels in. That was a godsend. We're going to glue just these two that were fixed already on here. So one, two. I'm sure anyone who's done this 
is probably laughing at me at the moment because they know how hard this is. <laughs> okay, so then what we're going to be doing is we're going to try and push this on here and get all of these wheels in place. And as you can see, they've all gone in apart, apart from one. Oh, pain. Right, okay, let's get that one in quickly. There we go. And that's them all in. Look at that. That was hard. That was hard. And we got, guess what? We've got to do that again. We've got to do that one more time. Okay, so once again, we'll lay this down. We'll spend the next 10 years trying to load these up to get these balanced in. So, one. <laughs> this is the hardest thing, putting them in here. Right, so one. I've heard people's using petroleum jelly to keep these things in place, and I don't know. There we go, we got it that time. <laughs> All four in there. Do you remember that game you used to play with the balls and you and, and you, are, you had it in sort of like a game and you used to try and have to get the balls in the hole? That's exactly what this is like. And uh, I haven't got a clue how that long that talk. We had to cut that in post-production because you really didn't want to see me struggling with that. Uh, but what it does is it means that these are able to uh, still turn when they're in there, which is good. Uh, once you've braved that and you've battled that, which was the nightmare bit, we're going to put a track around these now. So we'll put one track on this side. There we go. And then that will enable that to move when we move it. We're going to put do the same with the other side. Track around it. Okay, so once the tracks are on, we're going to actually put this on the vehicle now. Uh, they can only go in one way, so we put the first one in. Just like this. They don't get glued because once I've got one of these in, they actually get screwed in. And we've got a screw here. Put the screw down there and we'll screw this in. As a matter of fact, you know something, I haven't used my screwdriver yet. So let's... Uh, Get my screwdriver out and we'll get this screw in. All the way in. As far as it will go, because we're going to be putting a case on this now, we're going to be gluing the outside of that. So you want that uh, screw there to be flush on that. That's not going to go in anymore. And we're going to do the same on the other side. Put this in like so i can't believe i got those wheels in on camera <laughs> that never happens oh look one of my blooming hand rails has come off now i knew that was going to happen i'll put that back in a second get this one in okay so we've done those two screw holes in and all we've got to do now is we've got to glue these track covers these fronts here show you what they look like just these over the top of them so let's do that now first one in that's the first one in and then we do the second one that's a really hard bit that was wasn't it and there we go we've got the front working and as you can see the tracks go round on that <laughs> pretty cool uh, but that's how that's looking at the moment that's that stage complete uh, okay next stage we're going to be doing the right outer panel uh, which I believe is let's have a look at the picture this pack here so we've already got some really tiny bits in here see i've got uh i don't know what that is but we'll I'll figure it out in a minute uh oh i think it looks like a, a headlight or something but the bit we need is just this panel here and what we're going to be doing is like last time we're just going to be gluing this inside the panel just like that so let's get some glue the way i did this last time was i put glue just on these points around the vehicle there's sort of like some plastic marks around it and i think once that's in, you've also got two little pin hole, uh, pin marks as well to line this up. Uh, once it's in, though, this isn't coming out, so get it right. <laughs> there we go. Giving that a good squeeze. That is the side panel done, and that's that stage complete. And what it wanted me to do is actually to put this uh, on the vehicle, so on the pod, sorry. So that's the pod there. Uh, this one's going to be going in that side, so that's just going to fit in just like that. Looks good, doesn't it? <laughs> done this before, though. <laughs> so that's that done. Done now. Right. What we're going to do now is we're going to continue on with the fire truck. So we bring over the fire truck again, and what we're going to be doing is oh, we've got a whole heap of bits in this one. Uh, first bit we're going to be using is the uh, oh, this is sort of like the what are they calling it? The water tank. That's going to be going on these two holes just here. So let's get the water tank in. Just like so. Again, you can't really go wrong with this one because it can only go in one way. 
I'm just making sure it's pushed down hard though. Okay, that's in. That looks good. Uh, next phase we're going to do is we're going to put used tweezers to fit the two hoses here. So we've got two hoses which are going to be going from these points to the back. The hoses are actually in a little tiny pack that they've got here. So I'm going to get this pack out with my tweezers because it is tiny. <laughs> and what I think we'll do is we'll tip all the bits out without them going everywhere. And if they do, I'll have to stop the video so I can see exactly what I'm doing. But there we go, we get all of those in. There's nothing else left in there, that's good. So the hoses, they're exactly the same, but we'll make sure that these go in the way they're supposed to go. We've got two hoses to put in, so that's one, two, make sure there's plenty of glue on that, and just down the bottom there as well. Put the first one in. Perfect. That's the first one in, then we're gonna do the second one. Like that. And again, it's going to go into the, the base there. So I'll make sure that it is actually in the base. There we go. So that they're exactly the same and they line up exactly the same as well. Uh, that's the hoses in. Uh, it says the first battery slot cover fits here. Now the battery slot covers are these black things I've got in here. Let's get them out. We've got one and two. And they're basically going to go in the side there, just by the side where it says International Rescue. So we'll get those in now. I'm just looking if there is a direction with these, but it doesn't look like there is. They just fit in perfectly, just like that. Do the same on the other side. There we go. And that's the two battery covers in. Uh, once that's done, we've got to break off these um, hand rails, which I've already done. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm so happy that I'm prepared. Uh, I'm going to dab some glue because they're basically going to be going on either side of the vehicle by these holes here at the, at the rear of the vehicle. So let's get these in now. One, two. Uh, where do they go in at the back, actually? They go into the um, top ones. They're going to be going into the top holes. The bottom holes there are for like, um, or what they call them, uh, headlights sort of thing. So I think it's probably best to put the back one in first, then the side ones. There we go. That went in really easy, actually. So that's one hand rail in. Go do the same in the other one. Yeah, put the back in first and then put the other ones in. That is easily the easiest way. Make sure that they're level, which they are. Uh, they they are directional. I'm having to take these off actually because you've got a little bit, little edge there that's going to go into the side of the thing there. So let's uh, do that one more time. I'm glad I, I picked that up before the glue set. That's for sure. So get these in the holes and in there. There we go. That is in absolutely perfectly. There we go. That's the first one in. Looks like that. Let's get the second one in. Again. So we're around the back. Two holes at the top, one, two, and then in the side. Perfect. That looks really good. <laughs> Make sure that's all lined up. Yes, I'm happy with that. It's all in. That's what it looks like from the back and the sides. <laughs> okay, that's the hand rails in. That was quite a tough little bit, that was. Um, once they're in, we're going to be putting in some towel lamps. This is step 11. Uh, they're going to go in the back here, and these are these little tiny things here. One, two of these we got. So we put these in there, blob of glue. I'm thinking with what we've had to do in this issue, I'm glad that we did uh, just push ahead with the detail work on the pod. As I said, we have seen that before. And I hope you're not mad with me for doing that, but uh, I thought it's for the best because we've seen it. We've seen it hundreds of times because we've had to build four walls for the pods two for each one. Uh, one's in. I need to get this one in all the way as well. There we go. That took some pushing in that one did. So that's that one in. Okay, so it's the next stage. This is going to be step 13. We're going to be um, joining the pump unit to its base. So this is the pump unit here looking like that. We're going to be joining that to its base, which goes in there. Uh, it's just going to be glued in, no problems at all. So let's get the glue out. Whoops. Just in here. A little bit just around the edge there. There we 
we go. So we get this glued in. There we go, and that's the pump unit done, looking just like that. Uh, next thing we're going to be doing is um, putting the first side block goes here, orientation. So we've got some side blocks to put on. Uh, they're really tiny things, and they say um, FD for fire department. So you need to make sure they're around the right way. So we put the first one in, just on the side here. Might have to just use my tweezers on this one. Drop it in. There we go, and that's the first one in. Do the same on the other side. There we go, so that's both sides completed. And there. Uh, once we've done that, we're going to be um, putting detail A goes like this. Now this is sort of like some switches and stuff. This is going to be going on the, oh, let's have a look. Uh, these top two bits here, they're going to be facing with the squares forward. So when I've got this in, let's put this in so I can show you. As a matter of fact, it's not going to need glue because it's really hard to go in. There we go. So that's that bit in just like that. And as you can see, the squares are facing up right there. Then we're going to be putting the uh, silver little corrugated bit on here. Let's see if this goes in as hard as that one did. Yep, so we're not going to need glue for that one either. As I said, that once that's pushed in, that's not coming out. That's step 19 done. And step 20 is just showing you all what it looks like. Now we're going to be putting this into this uh, little, uh, what do they call it, the turret. Uh, and it's going to feed in basically to these holes just at the side here. And these won't need glue. So once I've got this in, this is going to be a bit tricky to get in, I think. But we'll get this in and I'll show you what this looks like. There we go, and that's the turret in. As you can see, this goes up and down, no problems at all. Uh, once we've got it in the turret there, we're gonna be putting the hose in. The hose is just going into this section here, just like that, so we put a dab of glue in there. Just like that. I think the glue was drying up then. <laughs> there we go, that's the hose in. So once we've got the hose in, we're gonna be just putting that to one side because we've got some more details to put on the front of the vehicle here. Uh, the first one we're gonna be putting in is the uh, the bonnet sort of, what do they call this, bonnet, bonnet detail? <laughs> it's just gonna be going into the front here. Now what you wanna do is make sure that it follows the contour of the actual unit. So I'm gonna put this in first and then we'll see how that looks. And if I've got it the wrong way around, then I will uh, change it. Just looking at that. No, nope, that's the wrong way around. Because as you can see, it's, it's actually picking up from the bonnet rather than down. So we'll turn that around. Now we know what way around it's going to go. I'm going to hold it in my hand and then glue it into place. Just like this. I'm probably going to use my tweezers actually on this one because this is pretty tricky. Probably tricky just to hold it actually, but uh, let's see how this looks. Get in there, there we go, and that's in perfectly. That's the front detail done. Uh, once we've done that, we're gonna be putting the uh, IR3 nameplate, it's another IR3, <laughs> uh, just on the front here, in that hole. So that's gonna go in just like this. Oh, it's hard to get in. It's very hard to get in. That was hard, but there we go. That's in. That's the little IR3 uh, nameplate that we've got in there. Uh, next thing, we're going to put the wing mirrors in. They're going to be going in either sides, just at the front here. Now, these are really tiny. So, uh, again, I'm probably going to have to use... I'm going to put a blob of glue just on these. One, two. And then I'm going to just sort of feed these in. So, let's do this one first. making sure they're level, which they are. So there you go, it looks like that from that side, and then that from the back there. Uh, once they're both in, uh, we're gonna be uh, matching uh, the actual tower to the unit here. Um, I don't think this is glued in. It just says, yep, without glue, we just push that down. So I'm gonna give that a good push. Not too far though, because we don't want that hand, there you go. And that's all in, that's looking good. And then we're gonna be putting some, uh, some of the old uh, aerials in. Now, once again, what I do for this, is I put a bit of glue on my plastic here, just like that. 
Then I dab the aerials in. One, and we'll put one in the top there. Just like that. Put the other one in. And then the last thing I need to do, which you didn't, it must have told me to do it earlier on, is just to put the uh, the the back end, the back end of this vehicle on. So I'll get this uh, aerial in. There we go. That's that aerial in. And then a bit of glue, just under here. We're going to marry this up to the back of the vehicle. It's up to the track there. That's better. Making sure that the rear is actually on the rear of the vehicle. So it's that way round. Push this down. And there we go, we've got another finished vehicle. That is the fire truck. What do you think of that? Let's get a picture of that so you can see what that one looks like. That looks really good. I'm really happy with that. Really happy with that. What did you think of the fire truck? That looked wicked, didn't it? <laughs> okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same to the left outer panel now. So we've got this uh, little panel here, which we're gonna take out. All we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be attaching the bits that we did before which I'm just trying to find. Oh, <laughs> they're actually on the uh, vehicle here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be attaching the bits that we found before, just like the other side there. We're gonna be doing exactly the same to this side. So I'm just gonna put that back on the pod there. Uh, and this is just gonna be going in just like that. And all we need to do is glue this in. So let's get some glue just on these dots here. Now, after this, it wants us to start building um, elevator four. I've already done it, just so you know. So I'm going to show you what the finished one of that looks like in a second. Uh, but if you want to see me doing it before, um, you can uh, go and look at my other videos because we built this three other times. <laughs> so it is exactly the same. Nothing has changed whatsoever. Uh, but again, for um, the necessity of time, and I don't want this video to be like two hours long, <laughs> um, I've already done it. So, uh, but that is the other side completed. And now when we take this pod over here, as you can see, we've got one side already put in. We can just slot the other side in like that. As I said, the next part is to build the uh, the elevator. And then the final, almost final part is to put the roof on. Whoops. Which basically, again, we need to glue inside here. Loads of dabs of glue on this. And then that means we have two working pods which is excellent now i wonder if you'd be able to buy all the other pods pods one two three four it's a lot of work to do if you want to do that i have to say but uh just holding that in place for a minute just while that uh sets uh it would be a good thing though wouldn't it i know that they've got a, a ramp uh rumor to be coming out and some extended edition support vehicles i wonder if they'd do another pod <laughs> anyway so once that's in all we have to do is put that on top whoops put it on top the right way just like that and there we go there is pod four almost almost complete because we've got one last stage to do and this stage we will continue into pack 11 and basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be starting to do the ramp mechanism for um oh what's his little name thunderbird four <laughs> which is going to look pretty cool um so let's go and start doing that now i'm just going to turn to the page in my book where that's detailed because uh as i said i have done elevator four and actually let me just show you what elevator four looks like i'm just grabbing it off my side here there we go there's elevator four let's put that down uh so you can see a close-up of that and you know what i think we'll just put a close-up of all four of the support vehicles the elevator support vehicles together because they are pretty impressive nice little things they are okay so once we've got that i'm just going to put that to one side we're going to do the ramp so for the ramp section we have got uh god how many sections here we've got pack of screws two uh gray bits a bit another plastic bit here but it's made to look like metal and a little pin so we're going to be putting a pin in something and the first thing it wants me to do is says line up the slide bar to the two hinges on the slide plate well this is the slide plate and it wants us this way around and this is the um uh the uh the slide bar uh, that's going to be going into this this bit here and as you can see you've got some holes that are going to need to be lined up so once that's in i'm guessing we're going to be putting a pin through them Yep, we're going to be putting the pin through. So I always have troubles with these. So let's what we'll do is we'll get the pin out. I'm going to just lay this on top. I'm just seeing if this is directional. It doesn't look like it, to be honest with you. But we'll lay that on top. And then we're going to get the pin through. So let's open this pin up. Oh, 
Now, these pins, when you put them through, one side's nice and smooth and the other side's nice and rough. It's the rough side that's going to lock it into place. So if it goes all the way in without that rough side catching on anything, you've got the pin in the wrong way. But uh, what I'll do is if I do it this way around, you might be able to see me put the pin in. But we'll have a go. So let's uh, pick this up. Oh, this is going to be tricky. All right. There you go. So the pin is almost in there. We're just going to push it all the way through like that. And then when we get it to the end, we need to make sure this pin has locked in all the way through. So it's going to take some force. But once it's in, that's not coming out, as you can see. And we've got a nice swivel arm there. Pretty good. That's a quite a tricky bit putting that pin in, I have to say. Uh, but once we've done that, well, we're on the next stage now. That's going to be just lying as it is there. We're going to be grabbing this section here and we're going to be placing, uh, lower the slide plate into position on this ramp. The way around it's going to go is this way around. So this is going to be going in just like that. Oh, oh let's put it, yep, it's just going to be going in like that with uh, that bit just on the outside there. And that's going to be pointing, oh, the other way around. They want it pointing once that's in, uh, with this pointing to the left of us when we've got it this way around. Uh, and once that's on, we're going to be putting the um, uh, cover on this. So the cover is actually just going to go over these points here. Does it have to be glued? No, we're going to be we're going to be screwing this in. So let's put that in just like that. That will stop that ramp coming out again. Very good. And then that enables that to slide in and out, in and out, as you can see, in and out. And then we're going to be putting some screws in. So I'll leave it this way around. And it wants us to put in, uh, got loads of screws, absolutely hundreds of them. <laughs> right, so let's open these up. As you can see, they've sent us like, a, God, is that eight in there? Eight or nine? They always give us a spare. So, but let's get these first screws in. I think I'm going to put that middle one in first. So just in there. Like that. And then when we start pack, oh, what do we think? Pack 11, we're going to be finishing the ramp mechanism off so that uh, Thunderbird 4 has something to go down. But this will be the end of pack 10. That was quite an in-depth pack. And I'll tell you what, that fire truck was just as hard to build as the uh, IR3, the radar dish. Um, <laughs> that was a bit of a nightmare. But uh, I've got a few more screws just to put in place here now. Three more, actually. Which means, once again, they've gave us the, uh, the spare screw, which is nice of them. Very nice of them. They're a very nice company. <laughs> Okay, so we've got that one in. Two more. That one's in just like that. Excellent. One more. And there we go. That is the ramp, or the, the start of the ramp completed. I was going to put that to one side. Uh, so as you see, we've got this when it slides out, it's going to lift up. Uh, this little hatch in here. I don't know how that's going to go yet to be honest with you, but uh, I'm sure we'll figure that out soon But uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I hope you like pack 10 pack 11 will be coming soon Almost getting there now. Anyway, if you want to subscribe to this yourself Then just remember go to this website here type in the address and as you can see you get 5% discount there And you can get this over 12 or 24 months and the 5% discount is per pack so, uh, you know, you can choose the packs as you want. But uh, if that interests you, then please head on over there. Other than that, take care.